let's be honest, I'm kind of a walking cliche as it is, but today I'm going to be sharing with you how I am a cliche tarot reader. Astro Lady Tarot started this with her video. I'll put her video link in the description box below. I have been reading the tarot for over 25 years. Let's dive on in and I'm going to expose my inner cliches to you all. For those of you who don't know what a cliche is, crack out a dictionary or I can just tell you. It's basically a thought or an action that doesn't have any uniqueness. It is repeated often. It lacks original thought. I feel like that's a personal attack on my person. The first tarot cliche is that I'm a witch. If you didn't already know that, I thought it was like pretty obvious. You can walk into my house and know it like straight up. Doesn't mean that everyone who practices the tarot is a witch, but there is a lot of us witches who read the cards. Number two, I burn a lot of sage, a lot of beautiful smoke ceremony things before and after my readings. And I love beautiful oils and smelly things like gorgeous incense. Not needed, but yep, it's a cliche and I'm into it. The third cliche is that I own a number of versions of the same deck. Now I have got the collector's edition and the regular edition of the Dark Mansion Tarot. So it's not in its box because it is usually out of my reading space. This is the regular edition of the Dark Mansion Tarot, which is one of my, oh, my favorites. I love it so much. So I've got this version and then you can all be collectively jealous of me. I really ummed an art about this, but I got the collector's edition. I love it so much, you can pry this out of my dirt And it comes in a beautiful wooden box, comes in this beautiful pouch. It is gilded in gold, whereas this one is gilded in black. And it has a different back and it's bigger. It's so beautiful. And I have a certificate of authenticity, bloody gorgeous. So I'm really, really, really glad I went out and, and got this deck because I think this one deserves to have as much art space as possible and I simply adore it. So yeah, that's a pretty big cliche of mine. The fourth cliche of which I am is that I have got backup decks of my favorite tarot decks. Now I did just show you the Dark Mansion, but it was a different version, it was a different version. So I have got a couple of backup decks of the Druidcraft Tarot. Now I've said many times that this deck is my soul deck and it is currently sitting on my altar, but you've seen it a number of times if you have been on this channel for a while. This is the original book that came with the deck. It's quite thick and it's got a lot of Celtic lore in it. And this one has got a wee little book, but as you can see, it's been kept in its plastic so that I can use it when my deck that I'm using right now has worn out its kind of everything. And then it has a little book as well. So I really love that I've got the version that has the big book and it's the one that I'm working with right now. And then I also have the little book and a backup deck. I actually think I have another one of these somewhere as well. Don't judge me. <laughs> I love it that much. <laughs> I also own a number of Rider Waite Smith decks. I mean, I just bought a couple to give you an example because literally I could fill my car with them. Is that a good thing? Let me know in the comments below. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Am I? Am <laughs> so this is the albino Wait, I love the coloration of this deck. I'm so glad I got my hands on this. I love reading with it. Then we have the Aquarius Tarot, which is also another Rider Waite Smith clone deck. It is very groovy, baby. And it is beautiful. And you know how much I love. Thank you for being friends. The Golden Girls, and this is again a Rider Waite, oh, that turquoise and pink is giving me life. It's another Rider Waite Smith clone. So I own probably over 50 Rider Waite clone decks, if not more. I haven't done a count. The fifth cliche is that I drink tea or coffee while reading the cards. And I have to say, it's really important to stay hydrated and you have to make sure you're treating your vocal cords with a lot of moisture so you don't get it aggravated because you're talking a lot. Plus, the tea and coffee is delicious, and I will have you know that it is beneficial for your soul. I don't really know if it's beneficial for your soul, but that's how I like to say it. I absolutely do drink a tea or coffee when I am doing a reading, and I also have a lot of water with me as well. Ah, the sixth cliche that I'm absolutely guilty of is 
I own a crystal ball. This thing is heavy. It is so beautiful. It was gifted to me by um, a fellow tarot lover at Reader Studio one year and it's crystal. It is a, a Beyonce. She's actually got a little inclusion in there now. She didn't have that before. That's interesting. Anyway, it sits on my altar at home and it is gorgeous. I've used it for scrying. I also just love the look of it, but it is meant for scrying. But yeah, yeah, cliche. Seventh cliche of which I am a part of the guilty party is that I have got so many tarot books. And if you want to see videos where I go through a bunch of them that I have, check out this video here. But I have a lot of books on tarot, like more than probably one needs to. The eighth cliche of which I am absolutely a part of is that I have a tarot journal or several. This is one of my tarot journals. I've shown this before, but I absolutely love writing down all of my readings and I create tarot by the moon guide so that people can use them in their practices and also journal with them during the year. So yes, journaling, writing, writing is like my life. Um, so yeah, I have tarot journals. Ooh, saucy information on me and the tarot. The ninth cliche is that I like to shuffle my cards. Oh yeah, it hit me again. I absolutely love to shuffle the cards. It is something, that sound. It is a bit ASMR, but it's also just very soothing and it just, it's really nice. I mean, I have pretty fidgety hands, so giving my hands something to do is always good. And I just like the feel of having the cards in my hands and getting to know them and shuffling them. And yeah, I like to shuffle. The 10th cliche is that I love candles. Now I'm not gonna light my table on fire with having a bazillion candles out, but I do have a lot of candles. I think this also kind of ties into being a witch as well, but I often light a spirit candle when I'm reading my cards to invite my guides and guardians of spirit to come into my space and deliver messages for myself and my clients. So yes, candles, cliche, me. The 11th cliche is that I have a designated space for reading the cards. So this is true. I have a space for when I'm doing client readings and when I'm doing readings for my coven. And I have altars that have a bunch of tarot decks on them. So I absolutely have dedicated space for the tarot. Number 12 is that I wear a lot of black and I wear a lot of tarot clothing and I'll have a lot of tarot accessories. So I love this shirt. It's Katia and she is the woman. So I wear that a lot. I got that when she was on tour. And look at one of my favorite tarot mugs. It can hold like so much tea and coffee. And I got this from the Northwest Tarot Symposium one year and I absolutely freaking adore it. So I've got mugs, keychains, earrings, bracelets, charms, artwork on my walls. I mean, tarot is like literally everywhere. And the third thing cliche is that I always have a tarot deck with me. Like, of course, I have a deck that lives in my bag. It is the Rider Waite Smith Centennial. It lives in there, that is its home. So I have one on me always, and I tend to have more on me at all times. I take it traveling, I take the tarot everywhere. I actually have a deck that has gone to many sacred sites around the world as well. And yeah, I just like having it with me as a little companion. Are you a tarot cliche like me? Let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna check out the painful experience I had of decluttering some of my decks, check out this video right here and I'll see you lovely bumblebees next time.